Okay, boys and girls, welcome back to more Fire Emblem, The Sacred Stones. Chapter 11 is where we're at today, and that's exactly what we're going to start. Uh, but yeah, last time, loads of promotions, I tell you what, and uh, let's take a look at our crew here. We're looking pretty, pretty solid. Uh, so, I think I need to sell some stuff, um, so I'm going to do that and sell this white gem, get 10,000 for it. Uh, and then we need to do some trading, some supply stuff, so I'm going to deal with that now and uh, kind of go through our units as we have a look. We have a goddess icon here, uh, which is from Tethys, and it increases luck by two points. So I'm going to store that away, I'll think about who to give that to. Um, but yeah, we have lots of uh, units upgraded now, we also need to buy some stuff, so I'm going to go over to the shop here uh, and just stock up on some, some items. Um, Let's see, Loot kind of needs to buy a, uh, a light magic spell, so we'll get her a shine. Um, and we also do need to, I don't know why I did that, I need to buy her a, uh, a staff, so we need to get her a heal staff, uh, so she can start healing people. Uh, same with Natasha, only this time we need to sell uh, a lightning, because one lightning thing isn't going to be useful. I don't know why I keep exiting the shop though. Uh, buy, let's buy her. Oh, she can use a shine. Let's get her a shine then, because that's more powerful. And a lightning. Get her a shine and a lightning, and also uh, a heal. And maybe I should sell my mend and get a new mend. Why do I keep exit? This is a really annoying thing. Okay, I need to sell my old mend and buy a new mend. Okay. New mend. Yes. Okay. Alright, so she's all sorted. <coughs> um. Uh, Tana, we want to buy you a sword, so we want to go into the other shop for that. Let me see if there's any other magic stuff I need to get. Probably for Arthur, should probably get him another lightning. Um, buy one of those for him. Uh, no one else needs magic stuff, I don't think. So we should be good on that end. Yup, pretty much. Perfect, okay. Uh, then we're going to go to the armory, I'm going to buy Tana, we're going to buy her an iron sword. Uh, have one here. There's no, again, apparently no iron sword. Probably gonna have to go to back to an older shop. Uh, over here, maybe? Uh, armory from here? Should, yeah, they, they sell iron swords here. Perfect. Right, Tana, you can buy yourself an iron sword. Excellent. Uh, and then, let's see. I guess Rosh should get, like, a better axe. If he can get one, a steel. Yeah, get him a steel axe. That's good. Uh, Cole, we need to sell this iron sword. Yeah, yeah, and then I don't think anyone else needs an iron sword. I think Ford needs an iron, not Ford. A uh, Franz needs a uh, an iron uh, axe, an iron axe. Okay, so we're gonna buy him, or he can use a steel axe already. Okay, we'll buy him one of those. And we'll buy him. Uh, Steel Lance would be nice as well. I'm gonna buy him a new javelin because I'm gonna sell his old one. I'm gonna sell his old javelin and keep that at the moment. Actually, that's okay. That's that's good for him right now. He has three class weapons. Colm needs to buy an iron sword for himself. I probably should have done all this off screen, but now nah, I'm in the middle of it and I'm I'm not backing down. Okay, I think we're okay. Yes. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Stop shouting at me. Which I know you probably are in some way. But let's, without further ado, continue to the next section of the story, the next chapter. Alright, Kerpelin. That's where we're going to go next. The Kerpelin Range. According to Ewan, a little-known passage to Jehenna lies there, hidden with its cracked red bedrock and knife-edged peaks. Well, indeed. To avoid Carcino in combat, Erica's troops take the mountain path. They begin climbing higher and higher towards Kerpelin. Unbeknownst to the group, hordes of dark creatures now roam the peaks. Uh oh, spaghetti o. But now we have Natasha as a bishop. Her ability is going to come in mighty useful. Her slayer ability. Oh man, we're in this place. This dark place. We're almost there. Come on. My teacher lives just up ahead. Slow down, you and let's stick together. This fog's getting sick. I don't expect any more surprise attacks, but that doesn't mean we. Quit worrying, Mister. You're gonna let get left behind. Don't speak to me, boy. I don't tolerate insolence. Inez, he's only a child. There's no reason to be so rude. He's helping us after all. That's right. Without me, you'd never get anywhere you're going. So come on already. Stop! Don't take another step! 
Huh? That's gonna make it awfully hard to get where we need to go. What do you, you know about that fort? It looks like it's been abandoned for some time. Is anyone using it? Nope. It's really run down. Nobody ever goes there. It's been empty for ages. I've been inside, so I know. Is it right? Then what's that sound and where is it coming from? Huh? What sound? Hey, you're right. I do hear a weird noise. You, you can hear that. Neat. You've got really good hearing. I wonder what it is. There it is again. Prince, is this? Erica. Yes? Get your troops. You and it's dangerous here. Get behind me. No way. I'm going to fight too. No, you're too young. You're not ready for this. Are you going to do as I say or not? I don't know what I would do if you were to get injured. Oh, okay. Off you go, Ewan. Oh, look at this, people! What spacious chambers. A bit musty, but I like it. I've decided. We'll bed here for the night. I do wonder where Ranak disappeared to, though. I told him not to wander off, but... Lay Larakel. This could be trouble. What is it, Dossler? Look there! Look that bright in the fork! Looks like we got some nasty creatures running about this place! I can't see a thing. But this could be nothing but good fortune shining down on us again! Losing our way in the mountains and running into these abominations! There can be no doubt we were brought here to destroy these foul things. Come, Dossler! We fight! Gwahaha! My heart cries out for battle! That it does, Dossler, that it does! So we're going to pick our units, we only get to take 11. We have a massive party of people now though. Massive. We definitely want Colm, because he's going to be useful for seeing in the fog. But we will choose everyone else after that. So, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so I have decided I'm just going to stick with who we have here. Uh, Arthur and Garcia is our non-promotes. Um, it's a little bit of an annoying map, and I don't want to kind of bring people in just for the sake of trying to train them. Because I can always train them in the tower anyway. So... I'm going to go whole hog, I'm going to bring in all my promotes uh, and see how we do. Uh, and we need Colm because he needs to see in the future. See in the future, he needs to see into the distance, is what I was trying to say. Uh, yes. So we can send two parties. We can send a party down here uh, to try and meet up with these guys down there. And we can send a party around the normal way. So we're going to try and split up our forces in that respect. Um, and that's how it's going to go. So let's, without further ado, begin the map and see how we uh, we get on. Uh, I need to take a healer with each uh, unit segment section of people. So I'm going to take uh, Natasha down here, uh, and then I'll take loot across this way uh, with Ross and, and these guys and Garcia and stuff. Then I'll take Franz and uh, Joshua and Erica. And actually, I think I'll take Erica down. The Hmm. The question is, like, who will get to Dosla and Larakel the fastest, is the question. Um, because I need to recruit with Erica, so I don't know which party to send her with. We'll figure it out. Uh, first of all, okay, we know, we know that Colm needs to go forward, but I think Tana can actually uh, go and attack this guy straight away. So we'll go and do that uh, with the Iron Lance. Take him down. Very powerful she is now with her Falco Knightness. Um, excellent indeed. And Colm can also use his eyes to open up the path and open up the way, show us where to go. Oh god, we've got more units over here, holy crap. Right, right, we'll wait with him, bring Garcia over, and Ross as well. Ross and Garcia can take on a lot of these. Probably should send one of them down, because then it's splitting our um, units in terms of uh, weaponry. Although we do have an axe user in France, so I guess that's okay. Uh, I'm going to send Erica down here. That's my executive decision. I've made it. I'm sticking to it. I'll send Arthur down with these guys, and then I'll send Naomi and Loot over this area. That seems like it should work. Okay, let's see what happens. All right, got these very weak, very weak uh, units going to try and attack us. Actually, managed to hit Joshua. Congratulations, man. Well done. I'm proud of you. But unfortunately, a critical hit is going to spell the end. And as you can see, when Joshua becomes a Swordmaster, his crit is 58 with a killing edge. That's pretty high. It's pretty fucking high. Not a lie. Uh, thank God Colm dodged that. I sh probably shouldn't have put him straight into the line of fire there. That was perhaps not the smartest of plans. But he manages to dodge the hit. So, you know, not complaining or anything. 
and uh, actually he's going to be okay to not dodge a 45 because that makes all the sense in the world as we know from our Fire Emblem experience that relying on the hit ratio is definitely something that no one should care about because it's never right and it never helps you tell you what well Dozzler over there is going to do a good good job because he is a fucking berserker so he does kind of not take any damage from anything uh, especially all these weak units he knows what he knows what's up he knows what's down he knows what's left and right and all around shit that wasn't the smartest of plans was it now uh, I guess we're gonna have to heal Tana then <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of, is just random archers popping out of nowhere. Really annoying when that happens. Really rather annoying. But, um, we should be okay. We do have a healer uh, in our midst. question is, is whether <laughs> that healer is going to be particularly able to deal with all of our weakened units. Um, but at least, you know, loot is is able to help us in that respect. Uh, she can staff Calm first. Uh, probably sh sh would it be better to go for Tana, but whatever. Uh, I'll attack with my lance here, and then I'll get Calm to attack the archer. Uh, and we should be fine. Should be fine. Plus we got Ross. Got Ross as well, guys, so don't worry about it, hey? Uh, probably better for Calm to get that experience, though, at least going up here and trying to get it. Well, it's, it's seven times two. Whatever. Just get as much as we can. We'll just take we'll take what we get and we'll live with it. Alright. That's how we shall make this map. That's how we shall take this map. Okay, hatch it. Smashed it. And then we're gonna bring Garcia over. Garcia should probably be killing more of these guys because he is not promoted yet and he would appreciate having much more to do, honestly. Uh okay, first of all, we'll send Arthur down here to okay no we're gonna send we're gonna have Joshua no, we're gonna have Erica okay we're gonna have Erica Iron Sword this guy why did she damn it I should pick the other thing I didn't pick the right thing didn't pick the right thing guys miscalculated there miscalculated horribly miscalculated unfortunately uh which means that we're gonna have to bring Joshua out for a second so that we can deal with all this shit. Okay, kill that guy. Go on, Arthur. Get that shine on the go. Oh, it's a cool animation shine. A little bit of an upgrade from lightning. Not particularly huge upgrade, but we'll take it. You know? Oh, yes. Also, Natasha, because she's a bishop, murders monsters. Murders them. Utterly annihilates monsters. Every kind, any kind, all the kinds. So, you know, we've got that to look forward to, of course. Dodge. Damn it, Colm. Why do you never do what I tell you to? I command you, you never are able. See, look at this. Bloody seven damage. This is what you get when you have terrible strength. Terrible strength. Oh, my lord. Not good. Not good at all. Do we have elixirs on hand? That would be really, really helpful about now. Any kind of elixir would be great. Um, God, so many, so many things. Don't hit, don't poison. Thank you, thank you. God, I hate the poison bow so much. Really annoying. Really annoying. Look at this. <laughs> Pathetic. Pathetic. Get out of here, monster. Natasha is in charge. She will shine her light down upon the grant eternal death to everyone. Really? You're gonna miss? Damn it, Dozzler. Why do you do this to me? Alright, that's fine. That's okay. Got, you got the groove back. Got the groove back. Now, question is how do we deal with all of these guys? Well, first of all, we get Garcia. Because, you know, he knows what's up. So you can kill one skeleton. Uh, then we need to decide who we're going to heal again because Tana and Cole both need healing once more. But yeah, we've got a nice level up for him. Good stuff. Ever, ever encroaching on warrior status. He shall, he shall take it at some point. Uh, longbow. Yeah, that's a good idea actually. I think that's a good plan. We'll do that. And then we'll get Ross to take down the stupid face. This guy uh, with a hatchet. Yeah, one hatchet will do it. Beautiful. 
And then I think I'll heal up Colm and then Tana. I don't know, Tana seems like she can manage herself better because she is an upgraded unit. As long as there aren't any archers, she'll be fine. So Colm is the one who really does need more healing, honestly. So we'll get that sorted. Good stuff, loot. That wand shall be extremely useful. And that's why I really wanted to uh, to make sure that she got that um, last time. Make sure that she was at level 20 because then I could make her able to heal everyone. And that's exactly what happened, so good stuff. Right, uh, lightning. Okay, shit, really. <laughs> wow. Didn't expect that to happen, but oh well. The guy standing right in front of her. Right, now Arthur can probably, yeah. Hopefully I'm not going to get hit by the poison bow. That would be really rather annoying, and I would have to heal myself constantly. Thankfully, I don't. Good stuff. Good stuff, Arthur. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. What a lovely up to now. 15, okay. So Garcia and Arthur are around the same amount. Perfectly fine. Perfectly good for uh, the conditions that we are finding ourselves in. And uh, shit, is that the boss? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I don't think that we win by killing the boss in this map, though. I think we win just by finishing off all the enemies. So that's fine. We don't have to be afraid of bosses and stuff. You have to be afraid of my nose, though. Ugh. Ugh. Well, there's Natasha just <laughs> landing half damage on the boss already. Good stuff, I say. Fucking longbows, man. Fucking longbows. We do have a longbow of our own, though, so it should be fine. God, look, she's just. She doesn't even care. You can use all the magic you like. You ain't getting anywhere in this life against her. Nowhere. No up, no down, no left, no right. None. Okay, right. Uh, let's see. I would like to get Arta to do damage to the boss, but. I don't know, man. Maybe Erica should try and finish it off. Yeah, let's try that. Erica. Use your rapier. Eight, eight times two, really? Iron Blade is ten. Ah! Ich! Ich! That's really annoying. Thought she'd be able to do better. Apparently, she isn't able to do better. But if we can try, at least. Uh, rapier is eight times two. 60% chance for eleven. Yeah, we're fine. We'll be okay anyway. Dodge, yes. Okay. Good stuff. Next turn, she can kill the boss and get the experience for doing so. And she's already leveled up as well to level 15, so she's going to be like 16. Which is a nice place to be, I feel, for this part of the story. Pretty good. Pretty good. Could be better, of course, but we don't want to overkill. Don't want to go mad. Don't want to go crazy with power, you know what I'm saying? Uh, okay, so we've opened up this area completely now. Uh, let me get Garcia to move up to. Uh, I should have healed Tana there. God damn right. What's this archer's range? There, okay. So I can bring Tana here and be safe, but I'm gonna kill the archer anyway, so. Not like it matters! Lol 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 lol. Longbow taking on the longbow. I tell you what, I didn't even need a longbow there. I could have just used a normal bow, but. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have wasted that. <laughs> that was a little bit silly. Oh well. It's fine. Dodge, no. Okay. Well, you can kill him now. There you go. Using the rapier, what it was supposed to be used for. And we're leveling up again, as I told you. Because she is unpromoted, so she's going to get much more benefit. Much, much more. Excellent. Oh, God. Not the evil eyes. Ugh, they're all going to come and attack Cole, aren't they? At least he can dodge. At least he jumps and sprints out the way when it is necessary. Or anything for those guys to do? Nope. Okay. Well, we've reached about the uh, the halfway maybe point of this map, probably. So I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching, and next time we will finish off the map. Goodbye.